Okay, today I'm going to talk about this prompt generator. It is in Excel. Uh, if you are someone who are new to stable diffusion or you have been using stable diffusion for a while but you don't quite know what to write in the prompt, uh, this is for you. This is a generator that can guide you step by step to generate high quality prompt. So when you first open the Excel file, uh, it's in the README tab. What you'd want to do is to move on to the generator tape and then you can write down an ID. So um, I'm going to generate some realistic photos. So I'm going to write realistic human. Uh, so there are two ways to use this generator. Um, the first way is that uh, you can simply select the subject template. So there's already a couple of them defined. So I'm just going to select realistic human and then you move to the box that has a prompt. You see that the prompt already populated. And then you can also select different medium style, uh, artists, etc. But I'm going to go through that later on. For now, I'm going to skip that. And then I'm going to select uh, a negative prompt template. So I'm just going to say I want to have a minimalist portrait uh, negative prompt. So now, so we get our prompt and our negative prompt. So what you want to do is to press Ctrl C and uh, move to your stable diffusion generator. So copy and paste, put it in the prompt and copy the negative prompt and put it in the negative prompt and then press generate okay so now you get some decent pictures um so let's say okay i'm going to pick this one so i'm going to save in my hard drive and then go back to the generator so this step is optional, but uh, you can put down your image here. Yep, this one. Resize it and put it here. And then you can also document um, the generation parameter. For example, um, I used stable distribution 1.5 to generate that image. And then my image size is 512 by 712. And my sampling method is Euler A. And then I have used 27 sampling steps. And then the seed value of this image is this one. So this seed image is for Later on, if you want to generate the same image, maybe make some changes, you will need this seed value. Okay, so this is the first way to use this prompt generator. So the second way is that what if you want to have more customization, you want to select different keywords. So um, I'm going to put down another portrait, uh, number two. Um, I can still use the subject template uh, if I like uh, what I have generated. So I still select the realistic human template. Uh, but this time I'm going to add Emma Watson. And then for the medium, let's see. So um, you can see this is a drop down menu that I can select different keywords. And then after the keyword, there's explanation of how this keyword is going to perform. I'm going to select illustration, and you can select multiple of them in one job box. And then I'm going to select uh, close up. And then for style, um, going to yeah, this is more like modifying the style of the image. I'm going to select fantasy. And then I want it to be hyper realistic. And then artist is something that uh, has a very big effect. So 
Um, I'm going to suggest a um, couple of them that I use usually. Okay. And then for the website, it's also a very strong uh, effect modifier. I'm going to say art station because it has a lot of art that uh, with the style that I'm going to generate. And then for the resolution is how sharp the image is, how much detail it is. So I want it to be at uh, high definition. And then I want the image to be uh, highly detailed. And then we can add some more different keyword to modify the image. So I'm going to say uh, cinematic. Maybe I will also add the uh, healthy. Um, for the colors, here I'm going to select vibrant color. Another important category is the lightning. So I'm going to select the cinematic lightning and then also the, the studio lightning. And then after that, I also need to select a negative prompt. So I'm going to select universal sharp. Okay, after that, um, so I have my prompt generated here. So as before, I'm going to copy and paste to my stable diffusion generator. And then I'm going to generate my image. Okay, so we get some pretty really nice image here. Looks like Emma Watson. That is what we we're trying to generate. So let's save the image. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add keywords. So for example, if I want to add one more keyword for medium, uh, for example, I want to add a keyword of uh, pencil sketch. So what I need to do is to go to the medium tape and go to the end of the list and on the keyword column write down pencil sketch and then i can also write some notes on it it's optional i can say showing pencil sketch and if i go back to my generator in the medium drop down menu i will see my newly added keyword